Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of the Transfer Talk where we'll be discussing the latest Palace transfer rumours of the day. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first rumour of the day is on Ebrici Ezi. According to West London Sport, Crystal Palace have indicated that they are ready to improve the offer for the QPR star Ezi. Palace saw no reason to increase the offer as they were aware theirs was the only bid on the table. But... Will Fulham now indicated that they are ready to better Palace's offer? The South London club seem prepared to offer more money. It seems like yesterday's episode when we were talking about Fulham joining the race, it has been a blessing because now Palace seem like they're going to be acting on that and are going to be improving the offer. So fingers crossed that Ezzy gets done sooner rather than later. We've talked about Ezzy lots of times in the Transfer Talk episodes, but it seems like Palace are going to go and improve the offer. So thank you to Fulham for joining the race because it seems like that is what we needed right now. And yes, the fee was reported to be in around the 20 million region. We'll see what happens with that. We'll see if Palace actually go with the 20 million um, pound or 16 million pounds, um, of course, in the coming days. But as, as always, we don't need to talk about Ezzy, the player himself, because I've talked about it so many times. Um, I think he'll be a good addition to the side, but it seems like Palace will now be going ahead with the Ezzy deal and will be improving the offer, which was rejected a couple weeks ago. The second rumour of the day is on Christian Benteke. According to the Daily Mail, Palace will listen to offers of around £7 million for Benteke, who has turned down a proposal from the Middle East. So the previous reports were suggesting that Benteke could leave for around £8 million, but now we're talking about the £7 million. So it's clear that Palace have indicated that anything around £10 million to you know £7 million could uh, let Benteke go from there, could let Benteke go from the club, which sounds realistic because he hasn't scored as many goals. And it's, and it's interesting that he, in fact, got a proposal from the Middle East and he didn't accept it. So that seems like Benteke is willing to prove himself at the top level and he still believes that he can score goals and still has a vital role at Palace, which he has shown in the last couple of games. Of course, he's not scoring goals, but he has been an important player, um, in my opinion, for Palace in terms of helping Wilf and helping the other wide players, even though he's not scoring goals. But of course, some of you will disagree and understand the reason why, because as a striker, you are expected to score goals, which he hasn't done since his first season at Palace. So around £7 million, I think this changes, of course, in the January transfer window if you don't send him because right now he's got one year left in his contract. So if he doesn't sign that contract extension, then, of course, his value will go down because he potentially could leave for free in the next transfer window. Well, not the next transfer window, next summer. So, of course, Ben Teke transfer rumours are about, um, but no club seem like they are willing to push for, or push for him despite him being valued around £7 million, which is basically nothing nowadays. So, we'll see what happens in the coming weeks with Ben Teke. I'm pretty sure this won't be the last time we'll hear about him. So, yeah, Ben Teke, £7 million. I don't know if that would be a good deal for Palace. I think, actually, I do know I, that will be a good deal for Palace, but I don't know if you guys will agree with me. But we'll see. So the next transfer rumour is on John Flip Matata. So according to the newspaper Bled, Crystal Palace are interested in signing the 23-year-old mine striker Matata this summer. The club will have to pay a fee of around 50 million euros before Mines considers selling him. So according to Hugh Scott, he's had 18 appearances for Mainz and six of them have been off the bench for in the Bundesliga and he scored three goals and I know you guys are going to panic and say, oh wait, typical three goal striker, that's what Pius needs, but it's not as bad as it may sound because he's had a long-term injury which has kept him out, so I think that's the reason why he hasn't scored as many goals, but he's an interesting player, he's six foot three and the first thing that came into my head was, oh, similar player to Benteke, but this guy, when he is scoring goals, he's he's scoring very good goals. And I'm going to post the highlights of him scoring goals in a link in, a, in the description down below where you can go watch it. But headers, left foot, right foot, and they're all powerful as well. And it's looked good. Of course, you can't just base a player based on his highlights. But it seems like he's got something in him. Um, and considering that he's only 23 years old, I think it's worth giving it a go. Another player that we were linked with is Ollie Watkins. But... We've heard nothing. Just one rumour, as far as I can remember, with Watkins. And other than that, nothing has been said about him. So we clearly need to target other players. And this player, um, Matata, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I think it's like that. Um, can be decent for Paddis if he is anything like he is in his highlights. Of course, some of you guys may watch the Bundesliga, may know a bit about him more than I do. Comment down below, let me know. But from what I've seen, he looks like a decent player. And 15 million euros, similar to... Um, the Ollie Watkins transfer of around 20 to 25 million, I think is in Palace's price range. So I don't know. I think I think it's worth giving him a go from what I've seen. But 
Of course, we'll see in the coming days if Palace are genuinely interested in him or is it just paper talk. According to Marca, Atletico Bilbao could allow Diego Heron to leave on the free this summer with West Ham United leading Crystal Palace and Everton in the race for the veteran goalkeeper. Look, I'm not going to sit here and waste your time. Another goalkeeper, 32-year-old. Why on earth would we need one? And we signed Dean Henderson on another contract uh, for a year just last week. And then now we've got Vicente staying at the club potentially because he seemed like he won't be leaving. And we've got Wayne Hennessy, which is questionable. But he's another goalkeeper. Three goalkeepers there. Why on earth would we need another goalkeeper who's 32 years old? It just, ma- it just doesn't make any sense for me. And I'm just not going to waste time on the story. But... There are reports out there that we are interested in this player. Don't know exactly how they're getting these reports, but I'm just going to move on. The final rumour is on Isaac Hayden. According to Chronicle Live, he has deployed a new agent to try to sort out his future at Newcastle United. He's got less than one year remaining in his contract and Palace and West Ham are both keeping tabs on the player. So his new agent is Will Salthouse, who was a previous agent of Wilfred Zaha. And I'm not too sure if that's going to help Palace or isn't. But it seems like we're keeping tabs on lots of midfielders. And it's not just for this transfer window. And I feel like in January or even next summer, we're going to see new midfielders coming into the side. Because as I've said in previous episodes, we definitely need new midfielders, younger age midfielders. And Hayden is one of them. And defensive midfielder, of course, um, 25 years old. His main strengths, according to Hugh Squad, are aerial duels and tackling. So... I don't know um, about Isaac Hayden in particular, whether he'll be suitable for Palace. Um, But of course, I don't believe that this is going to happen in this transfer window. But another midfielder, another midfielder that we could potentially see Palace linked with in the next window, in the January transfer window. But I thought I'd I'd let you guys know, Chronicle Live reporting that Isaac Hayden could potentially be joining Palace in the future, depending on his contract talks at Newcastle. Well, that's it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. As always, if you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss our future content. And until next time, up the Palace.